Hey guys, you may really the best here today coming at you with another video. Today we're going to start something new, it's called a uh, deck discussion. And today we're gonna to be deck discussing uh Bujins. Now Bujins are a really good deck. I've been playing uh with them uh for a while now and I really like how the deck plays. Uh except the only bad thing guys that I hate about this deck is this deck only relies on one card and it's Bujin Yamato. Now Bujin Yamato does is once per turn during your end phase you can add one Bujin monster from your deck to your hand. Then send one card from your hand to the graveyard, and you can only control one Bujin Yamato. So, really good card. Um, helps you set up for uh, plays like sending uh, your Bujin Turtles and your Bujin Quillens to the graveyard. Also helps you add uh, Buj uh, Bujin Cranes. Now, guys, Bujins ha almost have like four uh, Honest in the uh, d their deck. Like they have three Crane and one Honest. You can even play Raven, which is kind of like Honest, but not really. But helps your opponent stop attacking uh, your monsters. For example, your Mato. So what you want to do is uh, always protect your uh, main monster, which is gonna be your Mato. And also, um, if your Mato gets destroyed or something, you can special summon Bujin Mikazuchi. Now, what Bujin Mikazuchi does is when a Beast Warrior type Bujin monster you control is destroyed uh, by battle by card effect and sent to the graveyard, then you can special summon him uh, from your hand. Then once per turn during end phase, if a Bujin monster was sent from your hand to the graveyard. This turn, while you control this face of card, you can add one Bujin spell and tap card from your deck to your hand. And you can only control one of him. Now, this card works really well, well with Bujin Yamato, so when he can send like Turtle to the graveyard and this guy gets his effect and gets like Bujin Gear Regalia, one, uh, one uh, of their spell trap cards. Also, they're getting uh, support and legacy of the Valiant and Primal Organs. For example, this card, Bujin Arasuda, you know, this card does its. Uh, when a monster uh, is banished, uh, one of, of your Bujin monsters, just special summon him and when you add a card from your deck to your hand, you just draw a card. So, pretty good card actually. And also, helps you go into your Xyz monsters, for example, Bujin, uh, Bujinti Susana Wo. And Susana Wo is a really good card, um, what this card does, it uh, attacks all of your opponent's uh, monsters. So it can even make a, uh, a black uh, rose garden, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's a field spell, and every time a monster is summoned, just special summon a token, and you can attack all the monsters, and he'll pretty much lose the game. Your opponent. Now, this card, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each, and once per turn, you can attach one exceeds material from this card. So take one illusion monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. So you can either add uh, your motto uh, to your hand, or maybe send like a quill into the graveyard to destroy a monster your opponent controls or their trap card or something like that. Also, in Primal Organs, they're getting support. For example, like this Xyz monster. Now, what this Xyz monster does, it uh, has two effects and it requires three uh, monsters to make them. I think three Bujin monsters. Now, the first effect is um, during your opponent's turn, um, you can special summon, I mean, sorry, add a Bujin banished Bujin monster for, uh, from your banished zone to your hand. And in your turn, you can. Uh, detach one uh, exceed material to special summon one of your banished uh, Bujin monsters. I think is what it does. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think about uh, Bujins and all these new support for them. And yeah, remember, you the best year out.